Hello everyone. I thought a good start here would be to make sure we have the difference straight between the two things we're learning here, least common multiple and greatest common factor. And the key, because this can be confusing, is to really concentrate on the last word in each one. In least common multiple, you want to be making sure you're looking for multiples of the numbers you're dealing with. So the multiples of 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 4, 6 times 5, and we could keep going here. The multiples of 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 5 is 40, and we could keep going here as well. Uh, so these are the multiples. The common multiples would be the numbers that are on both lists. So 24 is a multiple which is common to both 6 and 8. The least common multiple part comes in if you found more than one multiple. So if you'd kept going here with the 6, 6 times 6 is 36, 6 times 7 is 42, and 6 times 8 is 48. If we then keep going with the 8 here, 8 times 6 is 48. And at that point, you'll notice we found another common multiple. 48 is on both lists. But since we're looking for the least common multiple, the answer we want 24, the smaller of them. But notice again the key in least common multiple, you are looking for multiples. On the other hand, in greatest common factor, you want to concentrate on the word factor. Uh, things that 6 is divisible by. We can divide 6 by 1, we can divide 6 by 2, we can divide 6 by 3, and we can divide 6 by 6, of course. 8 is divisible by 1, 2, 4, and 8. And we will talk more about how to find these things in another video. Uh, the common factors, 1 is on both of these lists, and 2 is on both of these lists. Since we're looking for the greatest common factor, 2 is the answer we're looking for. The greatest common factor between 6 and 8 is 2. Again, the key in greatest common factor, make sure you're listing factors. And greatest, uh, sorry, least common multiple, make sure that you're listing multiples.